First white crappie ever right there. Good. Whoa, we zoomed in. I feel like we zoomed in. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little bit, a little bit windy, as you can tell. But uh, this is morning number two. This is actually going to be the last time we're going to be on Lake of the e Lake of Egypt. Uh, this afternoon, we're going to Ren Lake uh, with the owner of ACC Crappie Sticks, Andy. But this video, we're going to try to knock out, try to get at least like a dozen crappie uh, within the hour, hour and a half we have to fish. So Matt's waiting for me at the boat. I better get down there. to blow up that Instagram. So you probably noticed already there's some crackling in the microphone. The audio, unfortunately, on this day was terrible for a couple reasons. One, this, uh, this little wind breaker thing for the microphone was completely soaked still from the first day. And the other thing is I had an older one of these on there. This is a lapel mic that I use for all my GoPros. And right here, well, it cracks right here usually, right at this where it connects into this piece, the adapter piece for the GoPro. It always cracks after like six months worth of use, or sometimes not even that long. Luckily, they're only about 12 bucks. Um, but unfortunately, it cracked here. Well, I didn't, I didn't catch it until I started editing this video. So I tried my best to kind of piece out the best audio. Hopefully it works. Sorry. What are you gonna do? All right, he got one first, Cap. You same depth, about three, four feet. Got him, yes. Good start. Very good start. Very good start. That would've been cool, back to back to back. There's, there's a fish, there we go. Yes. First one on the plastic. Nice. Shad pattern. There we go, there we go. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Almost hooked you in the face. All right, well, what, as you can see, we're on the lake already. It is thick, thick mist fog. It, uh, it, at least it's not raining, but it's misting. So I'm gonna explain the little setup. It's a very simple setup that we're using. Matt's actually using an Aberdeen hook with, is it a slip sinker or is it a split shot? Split shot and then a little, little foam bobber like this one here. And then I got a, uh, I'm just using this black jig head. It's, I believe it's a 1 16th ounce jig head. And a, whoa. And a pencil style spring bobber. Yeah, lens is getting fogged up. We got some live minnows. I just want to take a second to talk about these minnows. They're a lot bigger than what I'm used to. Midwest crappie fishing, or northern Midwest, the crappie minnows you can buy, they're like, like that big. These guys are like miniature shiners. Look at that guy. That's a big crappie minnow from what I normally use. We caught, what we got, four in the boat? Four? Three and a half. Oh yeah, I, I lost one. Oops. <clears throat> I'll show you something right here. There's one of the three. These are like average fish for here. I can't believe the average size is like 11, 12 inches. It's, it's amazing. So hopefully we put more of these in the boat. It's a little mid-morning update for you. Damn. Come 
to get off or? Good. What have you been feeding me? <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Andy, the owner of ACC Crappie Sticks. Matt, Hello. Three Fishing. We are on Wren Lake, right? That's where we're at. We're on Wren Lake. Wren Lake. Hopefully, put a bunch of crappie in the boat today. We I'll walk are through. Where we are. I'll walk through what we're using when we get set up here. Oh my goodness, that is, that might be my PB. That's my, well, this, is that, that's a white. That's my first ever white crappie. Thank you. Awesome. First ever white crappie and definitely my PB crappie of all time. First white crappie ever right there. Thank you, Andy. Brush pile jigging, muddy water on Wren Lake. Thanks, <laughs> Having bud. fun. You want me to throw it in a live well? Or? Yeah. Yeah, you want to take pictures later, yeah. maybe. The head even go down. Or how long is that board? Thirteen. So he's, so he's a 14 15. and a half? 15. 15? Nine and a half. Okay. Different brush pile. There you go. And, uh, what the hell? I never thought fish like this over here. And... Get him. That's a good one. Okay, we got breakfast at Hardy's. I got deer sausage and cheese and crackers. So, if you get hungry, just dig in. Okay. You are just right on him with that white. We don't ever use these heavy jig heads in the summer. We're gonna give Davis a this is, what is going on? <laughs> I have had that complex more times than I care to count. Yeah. I've been the guy going, what? What am I doing different? <laughs> it's, but you also can. But sometimes some stuff happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you didn't notice, I could not catch a fish besides the big one. They caught like 40 between them. So we're gonna go over to the bridge, right over there right now. Hopefully luck changes. I'm from out of town, I think that's the problem. Is that the problem? Usually the problem. Yeah. These Illinois crappie don't like me. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Huge thank you to Andy, the owner of ACC Crappie Sticks, and Matt, Three Pound Fishing. I'll link their Instagrams here. I'll put them here. I'll link their social media down below. Click them, go follow them on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, yeah, you probably noticed I'm back in the garage. I was actually supposed to be on Lake of the Ozarks again this weekend. It would have been my second trip down there. Problem is, uh, starter motor blew out. If you've been following me on Instagram, which you should be, you would know that I blew this out the last day I was supposed to be on Lake of the Ozarks. Second last day. Huge thank you to Kyler Beckman for saving me because uh, I wouldn't have been able to fish if he didn't have a boat. So thanks Kyler. So this little piston thing that engages, there's a little little gear right here that it shoot when you turn the starting motor on, it goes up and engages the big flywheel to start the motor. Well, that is actually supposed to be down. It's stuck in the up position which means it's broken. And it was actually, I think it was like 85 bucks for a new one. It was over 120 to just get it rebuilt. So I got a new one, 
it came in the mail today, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I kinda need this boat or this engine to work if I wanna take this boat on some water. It's kinda a necessity. Um, but huge thank you again to ACC Crappie Sticks. If you're looking for a new rod, I've been getting a lot of messages on Facebook. If you wanna contact me, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, uh, DMs, you can do that. But a lot of people have been messaging me on Facebook, like what's the electronic setup I use, what's a good one, up to like the most affordable one, and then what's, what's the fishing rod setup I should get for this upcoming spring. If you're looking for a new fishing rod, ACC Crappie Sticks just got a brand new shipment in. They're fully stocked up right now. So go to acccrappiesticks.com, click on the rod you want, and then before you go to check out, there's a coupon code. If you use code FC10, FC10, it's gonna save you 10%. This also helps me out, helps me take these trips to Southern Illinois, Missouri. I kinda wanna get down to Texas this year. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I really like to put this boat in Texas waters. So be sure to go do that. Plus you, you save 10%, plus you get a good rod. Um, I know a lot of people asking questions about new equipment this year. Hopefully I can do another fish finder series as soon as the ice melts, which is gonna be like six months from now if you're up north. It's awful. Anyway, be sure to like and share these videos. I'm gonna post them on both YouTube and Facebook. I know some of you follow me on one or the other. So yeah, appreciate you watching as always. See you next time.